Hey everyone, it's Daniel, and I'm going to be bringing you guys another Packet Tracer Labs this episode. Uh, we're going to be going over implementing a subnetted IPv6 addressing scheme. And really, it's not as bad as it might sound. I know probably subnetting IPv4 has given you guys nightmares and all that, but honestly, IPv6 is a piece of cake compared to that. But let's go ahead and get started. So I can prove to you how easy it is. So we can see we got our subnet table here. Pretty much looks like any other one we've ever had in a subnetting package tracer lab. Package tracer lab. Um, okay, so they just want us to sign these addresses along with the link local addresses to the routers, and then just. Um, configure the PCs for auto config um, okay so if you guys don't know how subnets and um, IPv6 work they're really not that complicated um, for the most part they end in slash 64 there are some occasions where you might see slash 63 or below that but it's not that common because the thing is with IPv6, we have so many um, addresses that we don't even care about conserving addresses, right? So subnetting is pretty much pointless. But we still can subnet. It's just that um, subnetting for the sake of conserving addresses is pointless. Which is what I just said. But anyway. Um, we can see that here we have a whole bunch of subnets. Subnet addresses. Okay. So the first one. Um, we go to G00 and we're going to assign the IPv6 address of 2001 db8 cad c8 you don't you do not have to type the zeros because um, it's not going to read it as um, part of the address anyway because it ignores any leading zeros of the address and you want to make sure you put a 1 here because the zero is like the equivalent of saying it would be like 192.168.1.0 um, um, so you want to make sure this is going to be a one or else it's not going to work well it's going to let you enter the address but it's not going to really work in if you try like pinging after you're done setting up all this configuration so no shut this and Assign the link local address. All right, so for our the second land, not really that much more difficult. I'm really not even gonna show how I submit this because it's guys, it's not really that hard. Please don't don't complain about this easy stuff. Okay, so um. It's gonna be C9. Because that would be the next subnet for um or next available subnet for IPv6. The C8 colon colon one would go all the way until um two F F F F F F F F so just before c9 so with c9 we have a new subnet for um g01 no shut this and ipv6 address fe link local all right and finally for serial IPv6 address. This is a WAN link. Um, I think we'll come back to that later because I'm not exactly sure what that is right now. Well, I mean, by that I mean I'm a little too lazy to figure it out in my head right now, but we'll get back to it. Anyway, R2 um, going into gigabit ethernet 00. IPv6 address 20. 
one db8 acad 00ca keep in mind that this is hexadecimal so instead of going from 9 to 10 we're going from 9 to a because that's basically hexadecimal for 10. no shut this and then the link local address is actually going to be colon colon 2 because we're talking about a different router here and if I could type this command right that would also be very great <sighs> all right okay so Keep on forgetting it's only a type D zeros. Um, you can see pretty straightforward. Naturally, after A, next letter is going to be B. And um, B is 11 in hexadecimal. Uh, IPv6 address, FV8. Oh, shut. Alright, so now let's start working on the. Serial zero zero zero. You can see that it's probably going to be a C. So two thousand one DBA ACAD CC colon colon one slash sixty four. Now shut this, and you can see it's changing its state to down because on R two it's not turned on yet. So naturally, if you try to turn it on, it's going to turn it off because it can't turn on. At least I think that's logic, but whatever. Um, for this one, just gonna do the same thing. CC. I want to make sure this is a two because you cannot reuse the same IPv6 address. And you can see here that it changed it the state to up. But previously, when we entered the command, it changed the state to down. All right, so I think that's. Oh shoot. Okay. Um, and then IPv6 address, v2 link local. And I think I forgot to do something, so let me check really quickly. I think I probably forgot to set a link local on the R1 or something like that. Not show sure ruin. Yeah. Okay. Forgot to do that for serial 000. that we got 36 points all you have to do now is just either go to config and press auto config or go to IP configuration and select auto config I like doing it this way through a desktop because usually during competitions you're not going to be able to access this config tab so that's just my opinion if you guys prefer the easy way out then by all means go ahead and do that it's not like I can stop you anyway <laughs> All right, so now we got 40 out of 40, so that is 100%, which means we're done. Yep, guys, it wasn't really that hard, was it? So, um, if you guys like this video, consider liking. If you want more, subscribe. But once again, guys, I'm Daniel, and I will see you guys in the next video.